everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. So yeah, let me start the video with one of my favorite quote called, we are so good at predicting the future, except for the surprises, which tend to be all that matters. With that being said, we all know that Devin is here, the first ever AI software engineer. And me, personally, I am Harnoor from a AI first company and we as a company at Microsoft, we have always believed in AI and we were the company that we never banned software engineers from using ChatGPT. We always allowed them and but all except for, you know, predict, putting production code or on the other hand, there were many companies which were saying, Kiar, do not put code into ChatGPT, not allowing that at all. So now I want to today share three things. Number one, what is the current scenario of job markets and what is that I want to tell all the computer science students in colleges. Number two, what exactly is Devon? Is it the devil for all the software engineers? And number three, how you should continue working on your projects and how you should change the strategies into it. So first of all, let me break down what is Devon and I want to tell you a very good analogy. First of all, let's look at what it can do. For Devon, let's take this Android project that I did and I made this Android app from scratch using ChatGPT. I copied code from ChatGPT, asked ChatGPT what to do, copied code, build, test, back to ChatGPT, fix errors from ChatGPT, copy, build, test, back to ChatGPT, asking for errors, and then cycle repeats for 30 minutes to one hour and the app is ready. Now, Devon is doing all of that for you, plus deploying the code to production and shipping to customer as well if you want it to. So it can handle more than that, but this is on paper. So let me tell you an example what it is doing. Imagine karo yaar, you are sick and you ask chat GPT or any any uh, generative AI, I am sick. Ab, that will ask you question what is happening and tell, let's say you tell chat GPT ki yaar, I have some let's say stress. Now chat GPT becomes a doctor and orders that medicine on Amazon, tests your blood pressure and then ships the medicine to your home and projects it as first AI doctor. Imagine karo yaar, if that is true, if, if a system like that is saying I am the first AI doctor, is it possible? And so to what extent that is possible? And same is the case in software engineering, to what extent that is possible? If you look at the numbers, now with Devon, you can now with Devon, you can fix up to 14 to 16% of the GitHub public issues, which was around 4 to 10% before. Obviously, there are more, but 86% of the issues will still be handled by software engineers. Now, number two, message to all computer science students. Yeah, future is completely unpredictable. Let's think of an example of Uber. So when Uber came, it said, Kiar, I am going to kill all the taxi drivers. And indeed, it killed all the taxi drivers in America, except New York City. New York City, if you land in New you tend to, majority of the people still tend to go out and take the taxi, which is in front of them, the yellow taxi, rather than taking Uber, because yellow taxi is still more efficient, at least from Uber point of view. Same could be the world with ChatGPT, with Devin, that huh, some jobs, maybe it could be 5%, 10%, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, might be taken. But there is always some area where you need human dependency and the product that people are always using. Obviously, our future is unpredictable. This could be a scenario of Uber. This could be a scenario of self-driving cars, which are still not perfect. You don't know what is the future. It's completely unpredictable. And that's the surprise you need to be ready for. But the only thing you can focus on is to keep on building your skills in computer science. Human interaction and the confidence with which human beings like us write code is impossible to replace. Number three, how our life as software engineer has evolved. I can tell you, yeah, with ChatGPT, like we always have promoted it in, in many companies. Ki, yaar, if you want to write unit tests, if it's a simple scenario, first try to ask ChatGPT, then Google for solutions, and then finally research more for the best solution. Now, software engineering is becoming these three steps. It used to be just research, build code, but now it has become ChatGPT, 
see if there is an easy option available on ChatGPT, then research, build and code. Now, who knows that these steps might change in the future, but something that is irreplaceable is your concepts, which are always needed for these three steps. If you don't have anything to do with if you will not smartly copy paste, then you will fail as well. And indeed, you will be the one presenting in conferences. You will be the one explaining the code. Elon Musk still explains the engineering behind every single product. So whatever you are learning is irreplaceable. So forget about the future, continue working on your concepts and build up on more of that communication skills with those engineering skills. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best and continue coding with the best of your abilities.